So, sabi natin ito ay ano, um, elevation E. Okay? And ito naman, length L. Okay? Tapos, ito, ang gawin natin, yung width ng road is width P. Ayan. Okay? Tapos, meron tayong ano, angle theta. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng ating tangent theta is equals to E over L. Okay? So, yung ating na mga ano, uh, theta, pwede natin sabihin na elevation. Okay? Or super elevation. E. Small E. Okay? And also, yung ating uh, sine theta is equals to what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? Which is also equals to what? To tangent theta. Bakit? Kasi sobrang liit lang. Okay? Kung tutusin kasi kapag kinampare natin yung uh, width ng ating road dun sa uh, inangat ng ating outer edge, sobrang liit lang nito. Okay? So, so, so sobrang liit lang nito, yung angle niya, halos nag equal lang. Okay? So, yung sine theta uh, is approximately equal to the tangent theta. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung ating uh, super elevation E is equals to yung inangat na to na E over yung width ng ating road. Okay? Ayan. Ayan siya. Okay? So, syempre, ayaw natin mangyari na ano, na uh, magkaroon siya ng effect na skidding and over turning. Okay, so, by equilibrium, dapat yung ating summation of forces vertical and summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero. Okay, so, by summation of forces vertical is equal to zero, upward is positive. Uh, yes, nakalimutan natin yung mga consider natin dito. So, syempre, consider natin dito yung ano, yung weight ng object. So, W. Okay. And syempre, yung ating centrifugal force. So, sabi natin sa centrifugal force is horizontal force. Okay? So, horizontal dapat yan. Ayan. Horizontal force P. So, ang gawin natin dito para mas madali, yung ating uh, axis or x-axis is with respect to the incline na lang. Okay? Or sorry, uh, parallel to the inclined plane. Okay? Yan yung ating x axis. Then, ito yung ating y axis. Okay? So, if this is theta, this is also equals to what? Theta. So, if this is theta, this is also equals to theta. Okay? Ngayon, yung ating w nyan is what? Is or has two components. Isang vertical and isang horizontal. Then, ganun rin yung ating P. Okay? Meron din siyang dalawang component. So, sabi natin, this is PX and this is PY. Okay? And, syempre, meron tayong reaction. Tama ba? Ating reaction dito is, ano? Is perpendicular to the plane. So, this is RA and this is RB. And, syempre, meron tayong, ano? Fictional force. Okay, so ito yung ating frictional force FA and this is frictional force FB. Ah yes, hindi pwede ang ating frictional force at frictional force uh, A at frictional force FB is to the right. Okay, dapat ano yan? To the left. Bakit sir? Kasi yung ating ano, effect na skidding, okay, para dun sa ating ano, sa ating uh, car is papunta saan? Sa right. At yung ating frictional force is laging ano, opposite in direction dun sa movement ng ating object. Okay? Kung so to the right yung ating movement, dapat yung ating FB and FA is to the left. Okay? And, so, may summation of forces vertical, gamit yung ating ano, uh, y-axis, ito yung kulay green. Okay? So, yung ating uh, W is what? Negative. Tama ba? So, negative what? W, ang relationship nito with respect to theta is what? Adjacent. So, Therefore, cosine of theta. Then, yung ating PY is what? Opposite to theta. And negative yan. Tama ba? Kasi pababa. 
So, negative sine of theta. Okay? Then, RA and RB. So, plus RA plus RB is equals to 0. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung ating RA plus RB is equals to W cosine of theta plus P sine of theta. So, ito yung ating equation number 1. Okay? The next, by summation of forces horizontal is equals to 0, to the right is positive. Okay? Ayan. So, negative yung ating W. So, negative W, this is opposite to theta. So, therefore, this is sine of theta. Then, yung Px natin is adjacent to theta. Therefore, uh, plus P cosine of theta plus kasi ano siya uh, to the right okay then minus FA minus FB is equals to 0 therefore ang ating FA plus FB is equals to uh, negative W sine of theta plus P cosine of theta and Alam naman natin ang ating FA and FB is equals to what? Yung kanina, um, coefficient of friction multiplied by RA plus RB. Okay? So, coefficient of friction multiplied by RA plus RB is equals to negative W sine of theta plus P cosine of theta. Okay? So, Ito yung ating equation number 2. Ayan. So, equate natin yung equation number 1 and equation number 2. Ayan. So, uh, equation number 1 and equation number 2. So, coefficient of friction multiplied by Ra. So, W cosine of theta plus P sine of theta is equals to negative W sine of theta plus P cosine of theta. Okay? So, ilabas natin yung ano. Okay, tanggalin natin yung W cosine theta. Ito. So, i-multiply natin yung lahat ng equation or buong equation ng W cosine of theta. So, ilan yung matitira dito? Ito. Uh, this is what? Okay, so... Okay, so, makakancel to. So, coefficient of friction. What the fuck? <sighs> so, ngayon, ang gawin natin, pag samasama natin yung W and P. Okay? So, ito nyan. Uh, coefficient of friction, F, multiplied by W, cosine of theta. Then, plus W, sine of theta is equals to okay, P cosine of theta minus coefficient of friction multiplied by P sine of theta. Then, ang gawin natin, i-divide natin lahat ng W cosine of theta. Okay? So, ito nyan. Ang masitira na lang is ko yung coefficient of friction. Ito naman, W sine theta over W cosine theta Sin, matitira na lang sin theta over cos theta. That is what? Tangent of theta. Then this is what? P cos theta over W cos theta. So that is what? P over W. Okay? So minus ito. Okay, so this is what? Um, coefficient of friction P over W and sin theta and cos theta. That is what? Tangent of theta. Okay? So, ito nyo what? F plus tangent theta is equals to, tanggal natin yung P over, P over W. I-factor out natin. So, P over W multiplied by 1 minus F tangent of theta. Yan. So, ilabas natin yung P over W. So, P over 
W is equal to what? Okay, coefficient of friction plus tangent of theta over 1 minus coefficient of friction multiplied by tangent of theta. Ayan. And if we assume that ang ating uh, coefficient of friction is equal to 0.15, uh, halos parang standard na rin kasi siya. Okay, yung ating coefficient of friction sa mga road is 0.15. Okay, therefore, ay, and yung ating tangent theta is equal to 0.07. Okay, okay? parang yun yung ideal eh, na coefficient of friction and uh, tangent theta. Okay, ang mangyayari, okay, Yung ating, uh, ito, yung ating 1 minus, lang. So, yung 1 minus F tangent theta is approximately equals to 0. Okay? Kaya, yung ating P over W is equals to, okay, F plus tangent theta. Okay? And yung ating ano, tangent theta is equals to superlevation E. Okay? Kaya, yung ating P over W is equals to coefficient of friction plus yung E natin, yung small E. Ayan. Kaya yung ating ano, velocity over G multiplied by R is equals to Coefficient of friction plus small e. Okay? Yan. Okay? <clears throat> Ngayon, uh, kasi yung velocity natin, di ba, minsan, ano, uh, in kph or in meter per second. Okay? So, if ang ating velocity is in meter per second, Ang ating equation is V squared over GR is equals to coefficient of friction plus E. Ayan. Pero, kapag yung ating velocity is in ki, uh, kilometer per R, okay, yung ating equation is V squared over 3.6 squared GR is equals to F plus E. So, yung 3.6 is direct conversion. Okay. So, dinaira conversion na yun. Um, diba? Kuwari. Uh, okay. Yan. So, meter per second. So, in meter, diba? 1,000. Tama ba? 1,000 meter is equals to what? 1 kilometer. Din yung ating seconds. Ilan ba yun? Um, 6. Okay. 6 seconds over what? 1 minute. Okay. And yung ating minute is what? 60 minutes in 1 hour. Ayan. So, cancel ang meter. Cancel ang seconds. Okay, cancel ang minute. Ang matitira is what? Kilometer per hour. So, this is what? Um, yes. Uh, huh? Ayan, 3.6. Okay? So, 3.6 ang matitira. Tapos, naka-square yung velocity natin. So, i-square lang natin sila. Okay, ayan. So, Ito yung uh, introduction para sa ating uh, super elevation. Then, mag-example na tayo. Okay? <coughs>